Hello, this is Alan from Technology Moments. Very recently, we bought one of these cards and we wanted to test them in various devices. So as usual, it can be quite a guide for many trying to upgrade to the newest Wi-Fi standard. So let me share with you our experience. We started with a sixth generation i3 processor in this Dell laptop. We knew that it was gonna be a long shot and we were right, as Wi-Fi 7 cards are e-keyed and this one is an A-key slot. It was not an option. However, it received with no problem this Wi-Fi 6 card that my HP laptop was about to donate. And we were actually surprised, an extraordinary performance from it close to the 1 gigabit per second. This working in the 6 gigahertz band. As we've said many times, Wi-Fi 6 continues to be an excellent upgrade. We then went for this HP laptop with a 7th generation i3 processor, the one that had the Wi-Fi 6 e card. Drivers are installed automatically if you connect, say, through a network cable while the PC installs the drivers. It worked without a problem, or so it seemed. In terms of performance, we found a lot of issues, especially in the Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6, where link speeds were according to the standard, but actual throughput speeds were not. Our speed test didn't let us surpass certain limits, even though the link speeds were much higher. Something pretty weird. It didn't matter if we connected to a Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, as we always got the same results. Great link speeds, but very low throughput. We used many APs that we have tested before with extraordinary performance, so we ruled them out as problems. We also tried to upgrade this i7 12th generation processor Lenovo laptop, but in this case, even when the laptop came with a Wi-Fi 6 e adapter and the card was properly recognized by the system, for some strange reason, it didn't work and we had to go back to our Wi-Fi 6 adapter. Our tests in Wi-Fi 7 were pretty good, and it is the first time that out of the box a Wi-Fi adapter takes us over 1 gigabit per second in real life file transfer speeds without having to tweak the access point or the card parameters. Ok guys, I hope this video was as informative as it was intended and it might be helpful if you're looking forward to upgrade to one of these Wi-Fi 7 adapters. Thanks for watching and see you next time.